Mr. Mullen? Mm -hmm. Got it. All right, uh, before we start, we're going to give all praises to, to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rokak Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations to all my talking. Walk, walk them, learning, teaching, truth, and sincerity. It's just going to be another uh, video. We was uh, having a spiritual conversation, you know, so it came up. I'm going to start with this. So at 25 and 7, it says, There be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy. All right, so these are things that that are are righteous and will make a, a, a righteous man of the Lord happy. And these are things that make the Most High happy. It says, I will, uh, and the tenth, I will utter with my tongue, a man that hath joy of his children, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. And that's what we're focusing on. He that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. Us, Lord willing, uh, the saints, we are waiting patiently, and we got it just came to me, so we're going to have to get that at some point. But we're waiting to see the downfall of the wicked. We're waiting to see the downfall of Esau, the so-called white man, of the rest of these heathens, of the wicked of our own people. And when that happens, it's going to make us the most happiest men on the planet. And it's going to be all in righteousness. Seeing wickedness vexes a righteous man's spirit from day to day. You think Lot, when he was in Sodom and Gomorrah, you, you probably had grown men walking in each other by their rods, man. Probably standing... All types of stuff, man. And the same stuff happens here today. You got proud bastards walking around, bitches all, check my language, females walking around with their body all showing, expecting some sort of form of respect. Not expecting you to look at them like the, the uh, 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 escort that they are. You got children that's all out of order. You got these heathens looking down on you. They'll pull up in a damn... GMC uh, terrain, eight seater, all black, nine hundred a month truck, and look down on you. And when, Lord willing, when we finally get to see all of this collapse, all these people's dreams collapse, that's gonna make us happy. All right, and it's all righteous. It's all a, a right, holy, and proper thing, and it's written in the scriptures. And if you have a problem with it, the Lord's not dealing with you. So you got it. Huh? I'm kind. This is the book of um. Uh, Psalms chapter uh, 91 and verse 7. A thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand. So this is concerning at the... Here soon, when these final days and time... Well, we are in the final days, but when these calamities come upon the earth, when it's martial law, when it's people being killed, all right, when the Lord is sending His sore judgments down upon this world, it says what? <clears throat> so like it. A thousand shall fall at thy side... And ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Verse 8. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. So for the elect and the one-third, only with their eyes shall they see and behold the, uh, the judgment upon the wicked. While all you bastards looking down upon us, you how you... And it's, it's all... It's, is I it's ironic, it's spiritual, because what people when we're out there on the camps, what do they do? They walk by, they scoff, they just look at us, look at these bums and not working. Look at these weirdos just walking walking by, looking at us, giving us dirty looks. And when the table turns, we're gonna do the same thing to them. When we see people getting shot down, stomped out, stabbed to death, raped, tossed from buildings, ran over, electrocuted, set on fire, crushed to death, all manners of death, we just gonna walk by and look at them. Mm -mm -mm. Look at them screaming. They gonna be re please. No, ain't no please. Don't touch me. Psalms ninety one and eight. Don't touch. I'm. I'm just gonna look. Don't touch me. Don't get your blood on me. That's how it's gonna be. We're gonna just get to witness it. All right. That that's that's our uh, reward for, and it's gonna explain in the next verse, in verse nine. Uh, because thou hast made the Lord Yahweh, which is my refuge, even the Most High. Thy habitation come because we made Yahweh Bashim Yahshai Bashim or Hakodash our habitation in this world. All right, instead of making uh, money your habitation, instead of making women your habitation, instead of making joy your habitation, instead of making your job or your children or uh, uh, your career, which I just said job, instead of making all those things your habitation, which these people in the world do, we make the Lord our habitation, so we're outcasts right now. When the table turns, we're going to be taken care of. We're going to be like cake. We're going to be good, chilling, covered in Gucci. Or y'all going to be looking like raggedy, torn to pieces, 
t-shirts out in the middle of the streets. All, all those that didn't want to make the Lord their refuge. All right, that's gonna make you. That's gonna make us truly happy to see. Did not the scriptures say? I'm just grab this real quick because it came uh, to my mind. Uh, I believe it's uh, Proverbs one and uh, twenty. Let's see. Yep, uh, Proverbs one and twenty seven says. Uh, or no, slide. Yeah, you're right. I'm gonna start at verse twenty five. Says, but ye have said at not all my counsel and with none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamities, and I will mock when your fear cometh. And how is he going to do that? Through his men. All right. When your fear cometh as a desolation, and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you. Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. Con. And that's what, that's what we're going to do. Y'all didn't want to make this y'all refuge, you Israelites. So we're going to laugh at you. Niggas like Bishop Connie, you want to steal and scheme money from your own people? When that judgment comes, we're going to laugh at you. You sitting on the table thinking you high now. You looking down Nate too. Y'all sitting on a damn 30 foot long ass table. All dolled up, makeup up and whatnot. Probably got lipstick on and fucking eyeliner on. Looking down for uh, pretending to be big men. And when the judgment comes, y'all going to be off torn to shreds some damn somewhere. And we're going to laugh. Through the spirit and power of y'all. While y'all are starving, we're going to eat like it tells you in Isaiah. What you got in that? Um, kind of, and uh, this Psalms chapter uh, ninety one in verse eight it says, "Only with thine eyes shall thy be, shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked." All right, because the reason why this uh, video epistle came about is because I was telling the brother it would suck to be if we're not if I'm not one of those men. I'm not going to say that about the brother. I'm going to just speak for myself. I was telling him it would suck to be born. The, on the day after to come into the kingdom after Esau got burnt up, all right? It was suck to that. I told him that would be one of my, that's one of my biggest fears in this truth is to be born and not get to see Esau and these other heathen nations go into, uh, you know, go into captivity and receive their punishment, okay? So um, it says in here, only with thy, and it's back in Psalms chapter 90, in verse 8, it says, Only with thine eyes shall thy behold and see the reward of the wicked. See, a reward isn't always a good thing. <laughs> all right? I, you know, brought up, you think, oh, a reward is, you get rewarded just for good things. But no, you uh, get rewarded for bad things. And these heathens are about to be rewarded. Cause whether, and effect. Kind, whether they want to uh, hear it or not. So um, I got this. I got a precept. This is the book of uh, Psalms, still in the book of Psalms, chapter uh, six and verse nine, and it reads: "The Lord Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, have heard my supplication. The Lord Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, will receive my prayer." Okay, let all mine enemies be ashamed and sore vexed. Let them return. And be ashamed suddenly, all right? So that's a prayer, man. Should we pray to see? That's one of the good things. You know, okay, some of the men are going to get spiritual powers. Okay, Lord willing, where where are those men? But shoot, we want to see the fall of our enemies, all right? We want to see you, the so-called white man, as well as the rest of you heathen nations, go into captivity. Uh, I got another uh, precept. This is another oldie but goodie. And this is going to be the book of... Um, uh, First Thessalonians, uh, nope, Salakia. This is the book of Second Thessalonians, chapter one and verse six. Seeing it is a righteous thing with the Most High Yahweh yep. to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. All right. So, Khan, yeah, it's going to be a righteous thing for us to see you you heathen nations going to captivity starting with you Edomites all right and just real quick oh you so got that, it bro you got so it that, that's Sarat when it says that because you know just to cover that I can already see it the scoffers the counter argument oh that's that's a man speaking the, the most high was dealing with uh, uh, Sarat or it says uh, was it? Yah Yahweh Shai was, uh, or it says in, the, in that it says Jesus but we know uh, in the Hebrew uh, Yahweh Shai uh, the son of Sirach, the, the Most High was dealing with him in the spirit to write that. 
Because that's how the Most High feels. It makes that's why it says what it says. It's a righteous thing with the Most High. To hey, look, yep. scoffing assholes. Yep. <laughs> All scripture is given by inspiration exactly. of the yeah. Most High. You I can see the argument. This coming is in for my the head. the hopeful elect. Yeah. We ain't get man. Yeah. I just say I can see right. it. Right, I can see it too. But man, fuck them, man. Yeah. S- excuse my French. You got it. Right. Uh, Khan, this is uh, the Book of Psalms, chapter fifty nine. Verses uh, 5, all right? Thou therefore, O Lord Yahweh, power of hosts, the power of Israel. Yeah, you so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos, you so-called Native Americans, and you confusion the face, brothers, okay? Uh, awake to visit all the heathen, all right? Be not merciful to any wicked transgressors. Salah, okay? So kind of this is King David, our King David praying. What did he say? He said, be not merciful to any wicked transgressors. Shit. That's that that's not only it said the heathen, but who trans who the transgressors? Who was the law given to? Like the brother was just going in. Uh you two thirds. Alright? You wicked two thirds. Y'all deeds done surpass that of the wicked. Alright? You got it, uh brother. Okay, I just got uh, this uh, to go with this. It was in the Psalm in chapter uh, 17. I'm sorry, verse 8. Because uh, this is when the Egyptians were being plagued by that darkness. All right. This is, a, this is a, an account. It says, For they that promised to drive away terrors and troubles from a sick soul were sick themselves of fear worthy to be laughed at. Mm. All right. You people's judgment is going to be worthy to be laughed at. Especially Esau. Here Esau has fooled the whole world to thinking he's God. His technology so mighty, he can, you get sick, go to the hospital, they'll fucking cure you or anything. These people are trusting their houses, their jobs, their vehicles. It's going to be a mightily funny thing to watch you people freak out, bug out, have, uh, 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 what's the, uh, uh, hyperventilation, have heart attacks, panic attacks, anxiety attacks. People are just going to be passing out in the middle of the concrete, breaking their dang face when they land down unconscious. Yeah. People are going to be crying until they pass out or die. They're going to literally dehydrate themselves till they damn die. People are going to be screaming till their vocal cords tear. It's going, to be, it's going to be funny. The same way it was funny to watch them Egyptians who, when Moses was uh, doing his, uh, bringing the plagues, you had the Egyptians out trying to copy it. But y'all couldn't copy the last one. Y'all couldn't hang tough. And it's going to be the same thing now. Mm-hmm. Y'all not going to be able to hang tough when your house shy come back. And so when we see... All the destruction come upon you, it's just going to be funny. All you motherfuckers that say, oh, slavery was old and long ago, just get over it. Okay, it's just going to be, we're just going to laugh at you when y'all are dying in the streets. Oh, oh, uh, history is determined by the victors. Just, we, we won fair and square. We got America fair and square. If y'all don't like it, go back to Africa. Go back to uh, Mexico. We're going to laugh when people like that get killed. We're going to laugh when we see the people that say, oh, y'all need to, Get a job, y'all. I was gonna say, y'all need to. We gonna laugh when your job collapses and and all your coworkers commit suicide. Everyone climbs up to the top of the building and jumps off. Everybody lands on their fucking vehicle and dies. We're gonna laugh when we see that happen to you people. Kind, you got it. Right? Oh, kind. You got that revelation. Kind, kind. Yep. Uh, which where which one? Do you know? Do you know what to grab? Okay, kind. This is an oldie but goodie to me because I haven't brought this one out in a minute. Uh, this is the book of Revelations, chapter 13, verse 9 and 10. If any man have an ear, let him hear, all right? And we all got ears, all right? It's, this is talking about a spiritual ear, okay? This is why you eat them, mice. Y'all not spiritual, y'all. Whenever this scripture come out, y'all ignore it. It don't register yep. in your evil, wicked brains, okay? That's crazy. They don't want them. They can't get it. They can't, they can't get, get it, it. You know? <laughs> They can't, this, these two <laughs> verses right here, it don't click. They never respond. <laughs> Bro, I, hey. Get it. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must, must be, be killed with the it sword. It doesn't say they might be. It doesn't say probably. There's a high, there's a low chance, there's a intermediate chance. It says they must be. There's no other way that they have to die. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. So now all these things, all this has to happen to those people. Like it tells you uh, it's the only way to cleanse the land is to shed the blood of those who had shed the blood originally. 
Now, keep in mind all those things that it says. You did this wickedness, you got to die. You put people in slavery, you got to go into slavery. But who's, what does it say at the end of it? Uh, oh, yeah. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. So this is what the righteous and the holy men, servants of the Lord, are hoping and having patience for. So that puts the nail in it. That's righteous. That's righteousness yeah. to the Most High. That's what the saints is patiently waiting on. And that's in the Revelation, the New Testament, the last book of the Bible. So Christians, say something about it. Do something about that. That's not Old Testament, niggas. Come on. What y'all, what? what? Hey, 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 let's, 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 th let's pile <laughs> the scriptures up on their head. Here, here goes the book, back in the book of Sirach, in the Apocrypha, uh, Sirach chapter 16 and verse 13. Well, we're going to start at verse 12. As his mercy is great, so is his correction also. He judges a man according to his work. The sinner shall not escape with his spoils. And the patient of the godly shall not be frustrated. All right. So the patient of the patience, like it's spoken of in Revelation, here is the patience and the faith of the saints. What does it say in Sirach? And the patience of the godly shall not be frustrated. So shoot the saints, the 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 Lord's men, they're gonna get to see this man first, the first fruits, man, firsthand. Y'all going into captivity. All right. You. Heathens, all of you heathens, starting with you Edomites on down, y'all are going into captivity. And according to the book of Obadiah chapter 18, Slacky chapter 1, because it's only one chapter, in verse 18, you are going to get burnt the fuck up by the north, southern kingdom and the northern kingdom combined as Israel, as the nation of Israel, all right? Okay, Isaiah uh, 65 and 14. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart. But he shall cry for sorrow of heart and shall howl for his exercise in the spirit. So the servants, the saints, get out of Psalms 55 and 23. Okay. All right, the, ser the servants and saints of the Lord is going to uh, leap for joy of heart. But those that didn't want to listen, the wicked of our people, you're going to howl for vexation of spirit. I mean, you're going to be screaming out and crying. That's what we're waiting to see. That's what, that's what, what's, uh, I can't remember the saying, but mm. that, that's, that's what drives us. That's what I want to see. I can't, like the brother I'm not saying I can't, but I can't wait. That's that's what I want to see. I, I don't I don't got to kill nobody. I, I, I'm content with sitting up on the top of a building somewhere and just watching the whole world burn. Kind, bro. Or like, what's that song uh, uh, that, that some Edomites made? I'll watch the, uh, what, did, what did he say? He said, I'll, well, I had that song go, I'll watch the world burn and melt with you. You know what I'm talking about? They be playing it on uh, commercials. He I know like, what you're talking he's about. He's singing like about a woman. He's like, I'll, I'll I know what you're talking yeah, about. Man. I'll be content to sitting down and watching everything go up in flames. Crisscross applesauce with my thumb in my mouth, happy as hell. Mm. While you, why these people's going through hell? Y'all believe you motherfuckers say hell? We, no, the Lord gonna bring is gonna bring hell on earth for all the wicked to experience. You got it. Huh? Uh, this is the Book of Psalms, chapter fifty-five, and verse twenty-three. But thou, O Yahweh, shall bring them down into the pit of destruction. Bloody and deceitful men shall not live out half their days, but I will trust in thee. Yep. And who? Well, mm. And the main bloody and deceitful man is Esau, the so-called white man. He's lied to everyone about their heritage, the way uh, that the course of this world has gone. And the rest of you heathen, y'all are bloody and deceitful men. Y'all try to blot out our heritage as well. Y'all put us in slavery, uh, helped the white man put us in slavery. You helped rip us down from us being the nation of Israel. So all of y'all, all mm. right, y'all not gonna see y'all y'all not collecting no four hundred one k. You're not gonna live out half your days. You're not sending little Susie, little Susie five. She's not growing up and going to uh, Michigan State University. She's not going to damn uh, 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 what's that one down there in uh, where's the Grand Valley at? Grand Valley. Oh, she's the, your your children not going to college, man. Yo, you're not getting that boat in five more years when you retire to go sail the ocean blue like Christopher Columbus and whatnot. You devils are going to go down very, very soon. All of you heathens, all the two-third coon monkeys, uh, gang-banging, uh, ignorant to the truth, haters of uh, true, uh, the true gospel, those that despise the name of the Most High and the Son, that, those that don't acknowledge the mark of the beast, all of you people are going to die. That's right. 
You got something else out? Kind. This is this another one that don't register in you people's brains, man, when it's brought out. It's straight to the point. And this is coming out the Torah. Y'all don't read out with the Torah. Anyway, this is Exodus <laughs> chapter 21 and verse 16. And he that stilleth a man and selleth him, or if he be found in his hand, he shall surely be put to death. Oh, hey, we we still in your hands, all right? Y'all, matter of fact, let me grab that real quick. So that means, so that means we're enemies. Y'all still on us. You still have us as yeah. captivated, captivated slaves. So you're in. So you're our enemies. So it's guaranteed that y'all have to die. Y'all have to pay back for what yep, y'all did. Exactly. Everybody that's did us wrong, even our own people that did us that did the yeah. righteous wrong. Uh, this is Jeremiah chapter uh, fifty and verse thirty-three. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh by Shemayim Shai of hosts. The children of Israel and the children of Judah, yep. okay, that's the uh, Israel, the northern kingdom, Judah, the southern kingdom, were oppressed together. Shit, we all over, the majority of us are over here in America together being oppressed, having an evil eye towards each other, all right? And all that took them captives held them fast. They refused to let them go, all right? We're still in your hand. What did it say in Exodus? The Lord, see, man, bro, it's going to be so beautiful, bro. It's going to be the I biggest I told you so. It's going to be the biggest I like you ever told. You have siblings growing up. You tell them not to do something or you say something and they go and do it. And they come back looking at you crazy because they all jacked up. I remember this one time my little brother, he saw me kicking over an ant pile and I did it successfully. And he went to go do it and he left his foot in there for too long and they tore him. They bit the, the duty off of him. It's going to be the biggest, we just going to look, we just going to have this glazed smile across our face, Lord willing. And then when the Lord gives us the command, we're going to get right in there That's with right. him and get to stomping on you. That's right. Damn, all the wicked, man. If he, if he gives us the go ahead, we're going to get right in on the jumping. Come. God damn it. You got anything else? Oh, no. Come. Yeah. You know, so, hey, uh, a righteous man is looking for the day to see his enemies get uh, recompensed. The same way that King David, before he died, he sent, he had Solomon take out all the people that did him wrong. It's the same way that the Lord is going to allow us, Lord willing, to see all those that did us wrong get taken out. So with that, we want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahushai, Ba'ashim, Rakakodash, the wonders to the apostles, and others, no stone, peace, blessing, and salutations, all the document. Walk, walk, and learning, teaching, truth, and sincerity, and Salak. I just got one more scripture. Bring it, out, it, just, it just came to me. I just Man. want to get this because I was just thinking, how Solomon, how Solomon was, uh, Shai, and it's it's just funny how Shai, he's gonna come back here and avenge his elect the same way that he avenged his father before his father died. Uh, so let me I'm just grab this real quick out of Luke. Luke chapter 18, verse 7. And shall not the most high power avenge mm -hmm. his own elect, which cry day and night, right. unto him, though he bear long with them. I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth. So our Lord is going to avenge us the same way that he avenged King David all the way back then. So with that, we're going to say Shalom. Shalom. Yeah.